Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a few um, end of summer, early September new arrivals to share with you guys. So real fast, I'll go through and show you some new and exciting bags. So the first one we've got is this beautiful Regina bag. Um, the Regina is a pretty popular style, I'd say. Seems like it's fairly sought after. Um, so this specific bag is from the 90s and was made in the US. And in case you're wondering, the style number is um, 9983 for all Regina bags and this one is in the color mahogany brown so here's the back it's got this nice slip pocket here you could um, probably fit most phones in there and then you could you know fit quite a few essentials in the body of the bag and then you can also carry it with this top handle here or wear it as a crossbody bag so um, Regina bags are one of my personal favorites, so I was happy to have this bag come into the store. Um, and then next we've got this little skinny case, um, which is, I guess, more of a cosmetic case, or I guess you could fit like pens and pencils in here, or small toiletries for travel maybe. So this bag is really cute. Um, it's got a little coach cartouche stamp right there. Hopefully you can see it on camera. Um, and it's got the hang tag that attaches and this one, um, funny enough, it actually has a little stamp um, in the leather that was used when bags were sold at the factory store. You probably can't see it on camera, but I'll have to insert a photo, but that's just kind of cool for collectors um, that it has that from the factory store where they stamp the leather. Usually you see it um, in creeds, so it's kind of fun to see it on the body of a bag actually. So um, yeah, I'll show you real fast the inside of the bag. Looks like it probably was never used. It's really clean in there. Um, and then you could fit, like I mentioned, uh, here's a pin so it does easily fit inside. So kind of a versatile little case. I think it matches really well too with the Regina bag since they're the same color or any mahogany color. And so next we've got another mahogany bag. We've got a pocket purse. This one's got a um, slip pocket in the back. And this guy was made um, in 1996 in the US and the style number for pocket purses was 9755. And what's nice about this style is it's very versatile. You could take off the strap and just carry it as a clutch. Um, or you can obviously attach the strap and carry it as a crossbody. So it's kind of a two for one, which is really nice. And it's a nice kind of medium size. You can still fit, you know, obviously a wallet and whatever other items that you want to carry and it wouldn't be probably too big or too heavy. So um, that's really nice. Also, I guess the skinny case would also go really well with the pocket purse since they're the same color. All right, so next we've got um, a Coach, a vintage Coach Classic. We've got a Willis bag. I think this is probably the first one I'm showing on my channel. I honestly don't get a ton of them in, but really like this one. It's in really pretty nice shape, and I'm, I think the color is technically a really dark navy, which is kind of cool. And what's nice about the Willis bag is it's a nice um, kind of medium to large size. You can fit, you know, a little more than some of the smaller bags, of course, but I don't feel like the size is, you know, too large. It's a nice... Um, kind of larger size without being too big um, and it's also got a nice slip pocket in the back where you can put something that you just want to be able to grab quickly like your phone it's got this nice convenient top handle and then you can also remove the straps which is kind of nice it can either be a crossbody or you can just carry it by hand which is nice so there's the Willis bag oh and I should mention the that Willis is from 1996 and the style number is 9927 for Willis bags. Oh, and it's also, it was made in the US. So next we've got this standard clutch. Um, this one was made in the original New York City factory and um, the style number is 5140. And I would estimate it's from the late 70s to early 80s, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's got this nice um, front exterior pocket here, it's fairly deep, um, and then it's got just a solid back. 
So it's got this nice talon zipper here that you see on a lot of the New York City era bags. So there it is again up close. And the last bag that we just got in is this um, companion flap bag. And this one's actually from the year 2001 and was made in the US and the style number is 9715. So obviously it gets its name from this front flap here. Turn that closure. That's what it looks like up close. And then the back has a nice slip um, pocket back here. You could put your phone. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. It's also got this um, adjustable side straps here. So it's pretty cute. It's a um, crossbody bag. So anyway, um, that's everything that we have in currently um, that's already been listed. So I'll go ahead and list everything below. And um, I've got, you know, a couple other bags that are still coming in, so I'm sure I'll do another new arrivals bag here, or new arrivals video here in the next uh, couple weeks, so if you want to see more bags, um, be sure to subscribe and watch out for that video when I post it, um, and I'll probably have some more um, bag tours posted here um, this week in the near future, so also if you want to keep an eye out for those, they'll be coming hopefully soon. Um, yeah, and if there's any questions or comments you guys have for me, please feel free to leave them below and I'll be sure to respond and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.